Hey, Nicky Lance back again today. Yes, today we have a Faduntu. Yeah, Faduntu, the funny one, funny name one. Yeah, rather than a funny name. Faduntu 2013.1. As you can see, he's known too. Old styly, oh yes. A few things have changed in this release. I will show you them as we go along. The video is not going to be too long because, as you know, it's a rolling release. So if you've got it already, you'll know this already, okay? So instead of AWN for your bar, we now have Cairo Doc. AWN is no longer being supported, so the team thought, right, we'll just change over straight over to Cairo Doc, which I prefer anyway, personally, anyway. So in our dock, we have Chromium as a default web browser, VLC Media Player, which is default, not my personal choice, but hey, it keeps the ISO down to under a gig, okay? Pigeon for your instant messaging and a bit of LibreOffice. Not the full, full office, but some of it, okay? We have our shortcuts here, so as you can see, as my hard drive, I'm sure I use. Remember, this is a full install on a hardware machine. Yes, it is. CD drive, compact flash. All your shortcuts you're going to need. <clears throat> Excuse me. My home folder. And in theory, if I click that, I'll go to my home folder. Show your desktop and your trash icon. Remember, you can put other stuff in there if you so wish to do so. Okay. I'll be on GNOME 2 bar. As you know, GNOME 2, going back in time. It's our Ethernet connection, our volume. As you can see, it's my microphone that I'm using now to talk to you while I'm recording. And of course, I'm using Record My Desktop because this is only a single core hyper threaded machine. So using terminal commands will be a bit too slow and wouldn't be very good. It'd be rubbish, basically. Okay, on the other side, we have System. So I've got System. Under Preferences, this should all bring back some memories for you from GNOME 2. Adobe Flash Players here, lovely jubbly. Bluetooth, check it out, stuff like that. Check out your keyboards and your monitors. Nautilus is here to configure, which you may well want to do so. Check your software updates. Remember, it's based on Fedora, not Ubuntu, this one. <clears throat> Excuse my throat, it's got a frog in it. Your startup applications and some Windows. Under Administration, you can add and remove your software. So basically, all we would do is click here. You basically get the old Fedora stuff come up, and you just you know, have a drink before I do anything else. What would I put in here? Say, if I put in Abbey Word, for instance, to see if it's in there, repos. Sorry. I will actually spell it correctly. And I on find or you can click enter let's have a little query down here as you can see see what's checking it out down there half off to one and yes i can get abby word if i want to do so so that's lovely and it's 286 so that's a nice and stable one okay yes stable the latest one it's just not too stable at the moment it's not converting very well anyway enough of that we're going to an application section under accessories remember i've not really installed anything here Nothing at all. Archive manager, a calculator, a character map, passwords, encryptions, and shutter for taking screenshots. Yeah, screenshots, not screenshot videos. Okay. By default, you get a gimpage, LibreOffice draw because it's part of the suite, and you get Shotwell. Why are they all using Shotwell? I don't know why. There are better ones. Okay. Under internet, as I've told you before, Chrome is your default browser. Dropbox is installed by default, which is very good. Pigeon, Remina. And Chunderbird, okay. Under Office, you only get Writer, Draw, and Calc. If you want the rest of the suite, you're going to go and get it yourself. Okay. Here we come to Sound and Video. Now, I've installed myself Asunder and Clementine because VLC is, is okay for videos. But if you want a proper music program, you're going to have to get a proper one. So I've got Clementine. I'll open that up for you. You can have a quick look. Give a five, four, three, two, one. And there we are up there in the corner there. Clementine. <clears throat> I've used Asunder to rip the tracks because I prefer it as a ripper. It's a lot quicker. And the quality is a lot better. <clears throat> and it works very nice, actually. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So we'll close that. Okay, enough of that. We'll also get in sound and video. Uh, you record my desktop, of course, because you're listening to me do it now. And that's it, that's all I've got. Under system tools, you get Irilis. Yes, an application tweaker. Now, it doesn't want you to do naughty stuff, so you'll get a disclaimer when you first open it, okay? You just tick, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Because I'm not in the UK, okay? You get a CD DVD creator, the Cairo Doc for no open GL and Cairo Doc for GL. Now, when I try to install the drivers here, I could show you if I want to, but I'm not going to go to. When I try to install the drivers for my NVIDIA card here, I lost uh, GUI completely. So make sure you get the decent drivers to start with. I'll go to System Monitor. <clears throat> and as you can see, we're actually recording at the same time here, and everything is working. It ain't using hardly anything, and this is quite an old machine I'm using it on. The RAM usage is only 241, so that's pretty, pretty low. I wasn't expecting this sort of performance from Fedanto, really. If I go to System, you'll see what I mean, okay? There's the old machine there, the old, yeah, the old banger one. GNOME 2.3, 2.0, yeah. And the kernel we're using is 3.6.9.1, or dash one, even, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. So what do I think of Fedanto? Well, yes, it's been very, very good, actually. I can't really complain about it, can I? No. How about the browser again? 
Plumbing see I've lost my tabs. Anyway, so I could open up the browser and go to the site, which I'm going to do. I have to tap it in. If you hold on a second, you'll see what I mean. Let's use duck duck go. Why would it do that? I don't know. Maybe he wanted it to be free, free, free at last. And this should, in theory, take us to their site, or take me to your Libra, or Libra, Libra leader. Is he a Libra leader? Yeah. Adobe Flash is licensed by default, and so is Florendo MP3 Codex, so it's pretty cool if you want that sort of thing. But when I installed Asunder, it didn't like their MP3 Codex, so you're going to have to get lame anyway, okay? Now, apparently, if you've got a laptop or a netbook, it will run a lot better and have a lot of better battery life than some other distributions. But as I'm not using it on one of those, I can't actually tell you, okay? Just for them to release, just check that out for you, and you can see what I mean. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Please, January 7th. Bloody, 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 bloody. Also, it says Jockey's supposed to come up straight away, and it doesn't, actually. I have to go down and get it myself. Mm -hmm. but that's just me. Uh, one big thing is Netflix, my got an application that uses one. Netflix now can actually run in Fedantu by using Silverlight, actually put it over via one. But it is in the uh, repos for Fedantu. So you just go to a, net, a Netflix application and you'll be able to run it. I've not actually tried it on here because I've done no longer subscribed to Netflix because in the UK it's a bit rubbish. Okay. Anyway, what do I think? For done two this time around, 2013.1, very, very, very bleeding good. Yeah, what should I give you? 95% sneaky looks going out. See you later, bye bye.